so this is something we must take note of so if you find this video lesson helpful do well to click the subscribe button to this channel and also share with your friends class what do you have to say you are welcome to my youtube channel in today's video lesson i'll be discussing about the ph concept so this must be noted it must be noted that the ph concept was brought about by a man called soren sorensen this must be noted so if you ask who brought about the ph concept what will you say so the next thing we have to know here is this it must be noted here that the ph concept or ph measures the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a solution so this must be noted it must be noted here that the ph measures the degree of what acidity or alkalinity okay uh, acidity or alkalinity of a what a solution very nice so moving further this must be noted there is a scale that measures the degree of acidity or alkalinity of a solution okay and that scale is simply called the ph scale so the scale that measures the degree of acidity of alkalinity of a solution is called what ranges from 0 to 14. So you can see the way the arrow is. You can see one arrow is moving towards 0 and another arrow is moving towards what? 14. Now, between 0 and 14, what becomes the middle? What number becomes in the middle? Zero. Very nice. Now, this must be noted. It must be noted here that when we have on the pH scale values that ranges from 0 to 6.9, because when you say that the ph measures the degree of what acidity or alkalinity of a solution now this solution can be either acidic as earlier said or this solution can be either alkalinic and sometimes we say that if you are alkalinic you are basic are you getting me now so moving further as Elia said, when we have a value ranges from 0 to 6.9, we simply say that this particular solution is acidic. So when you have a value range from 0 to 6.9, what, what will you call that solution? Acidic. But what if we have the value on the pH scale to be 7? What will you call that solution? You Very nice. You say that that solution is what? Neutral do you get so moving further lastly when we have a value that ranges from on the pa scale that ranges from 7.1 to 14 we simply say that that particular solution is what now alkalinic are you getting the point now so moving further this must be noted we have to take note of this remember i said that you can see one arrow moving towards zero and another arrow moving towards 14. So as this arrow is moving towards zero, it means that the, as the value is moving towards zero, it means that the, uh, uh, the solution will be more acidic. Now, let me explain better. Let's take two examples, okay? Solution A, let's just call this solution A and let's call this solution B. And let's say solution A has its pH value to be, let's say, 2. And solution B has its pH value to, let's say, 5. Now, looking at these two ranges of numbers, 2 and 5, are they acidic in the first place? Yes, because it's really from 0 to what? 6.9. So it means that these two solutions, they are acidic. But the question now is, which of them is more acidic remember hold on remember i told you guys that as you are going towards zero your acidity will increase as you are going towards 14 your alkalinity will what increase i already know that 
alkalinity has to do with the, base, the basic property of the compound. Are you getting me now? So moving further, as we are going towards zero, our acidity will increase. So my point here is this. Between solution A and solution B, which is more acidic? Solution A. Yes, because solution A is going towards zero. Because the value for the solution A is not two. So two and five, which is closer to zero, two. So it means that this solution that has this pH value to be two will be more acidic than this solution that has this pH value to be what? Five. But both of them are acidic, but this is more acidic. Are you getting the point? So moving further, let's take another example using the alkalinic property. Let's say that this solution A has its pH value to be 8 and solution B has its pH value, let's say, to be 12. Looking at these two solutions, okay, looking at these two solutions, are they alkalinic solutions? Yes, because the, it ranges now between what? 7.1 to 14. Now, my point here is this. Which of them will be more alkaline? Because I told you guys that as you are going towards 14, your alkalinity will increase. So, which of them is more alkaline? Is it solution A or solution B? Solution B. Very nice. Because you can see that solution, solution B pH value is what? 12, which is closer to what? 14. Do you get so this is something we must take note of so if you find this video lesson helpful do well to click the subscribe button to this channel and also share with your friends class what do you have to say